You're not a real New Yorker until you've gone on a 4 a.m. bodega beer run. You're not a real New Yorker until you want to murder your neighbors in cold blood. I'm not a real New Yorker until you're born in New York. Born here, live here your entire life, never go away, and then die here, preferably under the wheels of like a M103 bus. I think you have had to have lived here at least 10 years of, of any time in order to see the sea change that occurs so that you can reflect upon what you're you know, what you've lost versus what's replaced it. You're not a real New Yorker until you live to your whole life. And you're not a real New Yorker until you're actually yelling at your customer. Until I'm pushed around. You're not a real New Yorker until you curse somebody the fuck out. You're not a real New Yorker until you got mugged. You're not a real New Yorker until you can live in your car for five months because you're dedicated to live here. You're not a real New Yorker until you're a jerk about pizza that isn't from New York until you've had a real New York slice. You're not a real New Yorker until you try New York's cheesecake. Until you get a bagel with a cream cheese. Eat a dirty water dog while drunk at 4 a.m. You need to uh, have visited Spain at least, at least once. And, and with other places like that, uh, Old Town Bar, uh, La Vador, um, the distinguished Wakamba on 8th Avenue. You're not a real New Yorker until you accidentally step on a mouse in Chinatown. Until your coworker kicks a rat onto your foot. You're not a real New Yorker until you ride the subways. Until you ride the subway? Until you can ride the subways without looking at the map. You're not a real New Yorker unless you know the exact train car to get in to get out at the exit first until you're completely unfazed when you see Jake Gyllenhaal eating a bagel off the floor of the subway. You're not a real New Yorker until you've seen somebody pee in the subway. Until you've seen somebody masturbating on the subway platform and it was a normal thing for you. Until you see a man take out his penis and masturbate on the subway. You encounter somebody flossing in the elevator or clipping their toenails in the subway. You're not a real New Yorker until you've dealt with frozen puddles of vomit in the winter. You've bicycled to Fort Tilden in the Rockaways. Until you ride your bike across the Brooklyn Bridge. Unless you dipped in Coney Island. It's like, you gotta know how to complain about, like, bullshit. You spend thousands of dollars on broker fees, and then you move exactly one year later. Go to costume parties in warehouses in Brooklyn with 200 of your closest friends. Until you come to Union Square Green Market. You're not a real New Yorker till you come to Union Square and play a good game of chess. You're not a real New Yorker until you get hit by a cab. That makes you a real New Yorker. Bellevue Emergency Room at 3 a.m. Until you've seen somebody poop. Unless you get what we call sidewalk rage with the Taurus. Stop texting! You're not a real New Yorker until you've climbed your fire escape because you locked yourself out of your apartment. Or until you get into a screaming argument with a senior citizen. Can I just say that Real New Yorkers don't think about this kind of stuff. Like they don't ask like who's a real New Yorker or what they like. I, they just know they're a real New Yorker and they don't give a crap about anybody else. I mean, a real New Yorker just wouldn't stop to answer this question. <laughs>